Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCFA series. Today's video is on boot systems into different targets manually. First to talk about the different targets. Uh, they used to be called run levels in older versions of uh, Red Hat. Yeah, they're just essentially the same thing, but they're just uh, named uh, with actually useful names rather than just uh, run level numbers. They still match to numbers, but you've got more descriptive name for the for the different run levels or targets. So the the major ones you're going to use are going to be the um, the rescue target, the multi-user target, and the graphical target. So currently we're in the graphical target, which is run level five in uh, in the old old money. Uh, so what we can do at the moment, uh, we can it's all using the uh, sysctl command. So sudo systemctl get default. So, so what I'll do is tell us our current default target of run level. So it's run level five or um, the graphical target. We can list all units that are being called by this target. So those individual uh, units inside the target. So we'll just do type target. And you can see here all the various extra bits and pieces that are loaded as part of the graphical target we're using right now. So you've got like network, multi-user, um, bindings, etc., timers, and all that sort of stuff. So this all, so you can see, like for example, the graphical interface is actually called as part of that. The SSH, all that. Yep. And we can do an all. You can see an all to see loaded but inactive. So start some things maybe are not working or are currently inactive. So you can see uh, we're not using that file system, so it's inactive. So obviously not everything's going to run all the time because it doesn't. It's not necessarily needed. So if we want to change the target we're currently using, we can use sudo systemctl and then set default and then the name of the target. So um, you could you can pretty much specify any of those. So next time you reboot your system, it will uh, set that as the default target. Um, so be be wary if if you set it so to something like uh, perhaps a the rescue target which is single user mode. Um, you will need to know the root user password or a local account. So if you're using something like AD authentication or something like that, uh, as soon as you set this and you don't know any local accounts, you're not going to be able to get into the system. Uh, so yeah, always be aware of that. But for example, we'll just set it as the multi-user target so just set default multi-user target and you can see just some uh, messages to say that it's, it's uh, removed the, the current default and it's actually set the current def uh, the new default to multi-user target so it's, it's just done that change so if I just do a reboot of my system now And through the magic of editing, we're now straight into uh, the multi-user target. So you can see there's, there's nothing other than a uh, text screen. So the, the target doesn't provide a graphical user interface. Uh, so it's straight into the terminal and you can work uh, directly in there. So most web servers and stuff like that are run in this way. It's uh, generally only for uh, workstation users or uh, home users uh, that would use uh, the actual uh, GUI. So I'll just log in with my local account, but because it's multi-user, all the networking and stuff like that will be enabled, so that should actually still work. Uh, it will be just, you know, no good, no green, not much else should be missing, hopefully. Uh, okay, so now the next one I want to cover is again system CTL. It's the isolate command. And this allows you to switch between the um, the various targets. Uh, 
in the current session. So you don't have to reboot the, the system to go back. You just set, set isolate and then whatever target you want to go to. So perhaps we want to go back to that graphical target. So pseudo system CTO, isolate, and then the target name you want to go to. So we can just do that. And yeah, we're back to the GUI now. Just log in as always. And finally, we just want to mention with the system CTO isolate command. Uh, so you've got, I mentioned the rescue. The rescue target. So that's uh, so it's single user mode. So it will load up uh, pretty much, and you can still manage the system, etc. But it's just in a single user. So most of the time, people use that to uh, do password resets or something. Say they've uh, forgotten a password for the um, root user. You can boot into the rescue target. Uh, perhaps you set it as default, and you reboot into the rescue target, and it should automatically put you straight in as root. Um, however, if you set some security up, um, you may not be able to do that. So it's it's yes, there's, there's stuff where you don't want to have networking that sort of thing uh, running, so you can actually just manage the system offline. Perhaps you're in a patch as well. That might be a good another good example. So you can have um, so when you run this, it'll actually send a a warning to all the all users currently logged in. You can also do a no wall, so that will isolate the system and then send no warning to the user. So I can do that in a second, but what I'll just do is talk about one more. So the final one I want to talk about is the emergency target. So the emergency target is yeah, literally used in the emergency. So the system perhaps won't boot up properly you can use the emergency target um, to boot in increments um, it's generally for advanced users so you, it doesn't even start doing the, the early early mounting of um, file systems etc so you'd have to mount everything manually and you can then uh, debug in a bit more detail so it's it may come up in the exam but so it's worth uh, just worth learning that one but uh, in most cases, I don't think uh, people would really use that. So, so if you wanted to load the rescue target, uh, you can use that system CTO uh, rescue dot target or the emergency dot target and the no wall option to give uh, the wall command essentially sends a, a warning out to of all users currently logged in. And uh, so the no wall just sends a no notification. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. Um, again, I hope it's been useful. Uh, thanks for watching once again. Please like my video. Uh, subscribe to my channel. It would be great. Yep. Uh, thanks again for watching. And bye-bye.